Hello everybody and welcome to the Well, there is no actual name of the show, but hey, you can get a look at the new microchip MP Lab. Yeah, so this is a simulator for electronic circuits. So yeah, let's keep on. I saw a video from Keysight Oscilloscopes and I thought, hey, maybe I simulate what's been shown on the oscilloscope. Now, the Keysight video is about a glitch on the oscilloscope, so I was wondering if I could simulate it or see if I can create the same response that it's on the video. So let's keep up. In the video, it shows the glitch on the oscilloscope and that's because of the inductance. So let's start with the tutorial on how to use the MPLAB Mindy to make this simulation. First of all, we got we go to File New New Schematic. Here we are in the new in the new schematic. The circuit is the following, which is a function generator, uh, a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitance. Now, in the key side video, it doesn't mention the actual values of the of the components, so we're tr gonna try to make it as close as possible and see the glitch that it tries to explain. We go to place voltage sources and waveform generator. We place a waveform generator, we double click it, and here is the properties of the waveform generator. We're gonna change the oscillation to 200 Hertz. Why? Because oof, why not? Now we place the resistor, press escape, then we select the inductor, which is need one, and the capacitor. The resistor value is actually shown in the episode, but the others aren't. To rotate it, we select the opponent and we press this round button here. And there we go. We place our inductor and the capacitor and our ground reference. We wire them up. As we can see, this is the wire connector. We get close to the connection and then we click again to make the connection. You're gonna notice that this thing happens. Well, you just press escape to let it go. We do that again with the following components. And up we go. I choose an arbitrary value for the for the capacitor, which is five mic microfarads, and one millihenry. Finally, thirty ohms, a thirty ohm resistor. Okay, what next? We go to simulator. Choose analysis. We have to make this first. We select transient analysis. Maybe we're gonna cover the all the other ones in future videos. And that's all that we gotta do. We press OK. Now we go to simulator run a schematic. It ran the simulation. Okay. So we wanna of course we wanna see what's going on here. We select a probe. And there we go. We have the step response. And here we have also the step response. As we can see, this is the glitch that Keysight oscilloscopes try to, to teach us in the in the video. Now how do I make this a little bit nicer? Go to place, probe, voltage probe. We have this little like arrow, arrow thing around here, so we just click here, and we, and there is our probe. We can place another one. We go to place, probe, voltage probe. We put it wherever we want to, and there we go. That's it. Now we want to name it something that represents actual reading that we want to see on the on the simulation. So we double click it. Curve label. Here is what we need to change. I'm gonna call it voltage input, and here I'm gonna call it 
remember to click on the probe B voltage out there we go now we press play and there we go this is our simulation now we want to be able to see the whole thing uh, the, the whole oscillation now we go to simulator choose analysis transient analysis and we change this we can change it up maybe 10 will be nice let's see what happens we press we close this we press play there we go we have a better view of our signal now we have one bolt here you know let's change it to 5 volts let's see what if it works exactly the same okay now we change this to 5 volts close the simulation run it again and there we go we have our our square wave generator and we can see the peaks around here we can click on the graph to make it to zoom in as we can see here's the glitch here's the goddamn glitch that was on the video on Keyside so yeah it's uh it's normal it, well it shouldn't be but it is kinda normal you see it goes all the way down and BAM here's the glitch and then it goes down again we right click it and then we press zoom we select this section over here and as we can see here is still there's still the glitch here right click zoom full and there we have it that's a brief tutorial on how to use Ampilab Mindy and well this is this is normal don't worry about it it's not your oscilloscope that is broken or something or maybe you think that your oscilloscope is bad or you have to calibrate no it's pretty normal it's a normal response so yeah hope you like it and I see you guys next time.